Hey everybody, I'm Kaylee Searcy. I'm the director of the team, the book practitioners, and today we want to talk about your promotion to team leader. So if you are a consultant right now watching this video, this video is for you. We want everybody on our team to have the opportunity to promote to team leader and each and every one of you can do it. And we are over here cheering and rooting for you. So how do you promote to team leader? Well, it's a two month process, back to back months. We call them month one and month two, uh, whatever uh, calendar month that happens to be. So this could be your month one right now. All you have to do in month one is have $1,000 personal sales and $2,750 for your group of which you are a part of. Now that could be just you and you alone for month one. If you have $2,750 in sales, you have already met month one entirely by yourself. That's incredible. But you also can be building up a team. If you have anybody that has joined underneath you um, as a new recruit, as a new team member, um, that person is on your team. If they have anybody that has signed up with them, that person is also on your team and so on and so forth until one of you promotes to team leader. So that is month one. The very next month, they need to be back to back consecutive months. That's what we call month two. Here's where you put your pedal to the metal. Um, you need to have the same sales, $1,000 personal sales and $2,750 for your group. But by the end of that second month, you need to have three success bound recruits. So what does success bound mean? That means that those people have sold at least $1,000 in their first 12 weeks with the company. Now, many people on our team end up earning that half kit refund. They've sold $1,000 in their first 30 days even, and they are automatically considered success bound. Um, but they have up to their first 12 weeks. So they, you also need to have three active recruits. Now these could be the same three people. You could have three recruits, they could all three be active, and they could all be, three be success bound. But active basically means that they have sold $500 in the past rolling three months. So it is possible that maybe you had a team member that has joined with you several months ago. They got success bound right away. They got that first thousand dollars and then they have decided to take a step back from the company for whatever reason. And maybe they are no longer considered active that $500 in their last three months. That's still okay. That person is still considered success bound. Once success bound, always success bound. And you would just need to have one more team member directly under you that is considered active, which means that they have sold $500 in their past, um, in this past three months. So that is what you would get to promote to team leader. This can happen anytime for anyone. There is one more little caveat here, and that is to uh, promote to team leader express success. So when this happens, it's super exciting and everybody is so excited for you. Um, if you promote to team leader by the month following the end of your incentive period, I know that's a lot of words, um, then you will promote express success. So for example, let's say the end of your incentive period, the end of your 12 weeks is May 26th. If you promote to team leader June 1st, then you have promoted express success. Um, so what does this mean? This means more free books for you from the company and a $300 cash bonus just for promoting to team leader express success. It's huge. So now, why do you want to promote to team leader? Well, because team leaders are awesome. I'm just kidding, that too. But you also end up earning an eight and a half percent override on your own sales, all of your personal sales, because you are in your own central group, and all of the um, override on your team sales as well. So anybody that's um, directly under you, anybody that's under them, anybody that's under them, and so on and so forth until somebody else promotes a team leader. All of those people are considered in your central group and you are an eight and a half percent override on all of your team's sales for that month following. So this is what I kind of call going from spending money to making real money. Not only that, you're going to be added to several other of our team Facebook groups where we have um, all of our other team leaders. You're going to be in other team leader challenges. You're going to have more support as a team leader. You're going to have monthly Zooms um, with your upline. And it is a wonderful, wonderful community of team leaders that we have here on our teams. So if you have any questions, just put them in the comments below and we are happy to answer and let you know why you need to become 
team leader.